What's up? My name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and in this video, I'll be showing you everything you need to know about getting Rust drops from Twitch. So, as you probably know, Offline TV have their own server, and last week they were partnered with Twitch and Facepunch to get a whole bunch of item drops in the game. This week, there's a whole bunch more streamers, and there probably will be for weeks to come. It's pretty cool. I did release a video on this previously, but it was on a different channel as I couldn't upload here. Anyways, let's just get into it. How do you see what streamers have drops? Well, simply log into Twitch and then head across to twitch.tv slash drops. After hitting enter, you'll see your inventory where you'll see progress for current Twitch streamers and your claimed ones right below of all of the items that you've claimed previously. I claimed everyone from last week, including the three bonus items. This week, who's got drops? Well, we can simply see by heading across to the all campaigns tab at the very top. By doing this, we can see every drop campaign that's currently going on here. Not only can you see the dates, but you can see who it's for and clicking on it, you get a bunch more info like what item it is and down here, how to earn the drop. So these drops are all going between January 16th at 8 p.m. South African time, GMT plus two, to January 24th at 1.30 a.m. What time is that in your location? I'm not entirely sure, but for the next week, these drops will be happening. All you have to do is watch each of these streamers for two hours each. No, you can't watch more than one stream at a time. So in order to get all of these drops, first decide which ones you want first if you're in a country with good timing. Otherwise, if you're like me in South Africa, not all of these streamers are live at the time of recording or usually when you're awake. So what I usually do is I expand each of these and then control click on their username, which is found in this first line here. This will open up their Twitch page in a new tab. From here, you'll be able to see if they're currently live or not live. Rubius is live. So I'll click on the next one, control click on their username, next, control click, next, etc., etc. After you've gone through everyone on the list, simply tab between these tabs and see who's online currently. Anyone who's not online, you can close out of. Usually there'll be one or two, but now there are lots of people. So how exactly do we get drops? Well, because you can only get it from one stream at a time, you may as well either close or pause the rest of these tabs. In order to get a drop from a stream, it needs to be playing to some capacity and unmuted. Otherwise, no drops will be distributed even if it's the correct streamer and they're live. I usually keep the volume around the midway and clicking the settings button, I change the quality down to 160p to use the least amount of bandwidth and processing power. Then, if you don't want to actually hear the stream, right-click the tab at the very top and then simply click mute. Mine currently says unmute as I had it muted. Note that this will mute all Twitch tabs, so you'll have to watch Twitch streamers you want to watch in another browser while not signed in or signed into a different account. Anyways, you can check your progress on each of these streamers by heading back to twitch.tv slash drops slash inventory and you'll see the progress over here. Each of these people you need to watch for two hours each, one after the other or whenever they're live. It doesn't have to be continuous. If you were to stop a stream and go to the next streamer, you'll see a new tab pop up over here with progression on that streamer. Eventually, when you do actually earn the drop, all you have to do is click the claim button, which will overlay itself over the image here. Have you already linked Rust to Twitch? If you're not entirely sure, head across to the All Campaigns tab, expand one of these, and you'll see this down here, Progress and Redemption. Use Drops Inventory page to monitor rewards progress or status. Rewards can only be earned on one stream at a time. All the rewards require claiming. Click on the Claim button in the chat panel or in the Drops Inventory page. See more details provided by Facepun Studios. By clicking this about this drop link, we get taken across to the twitch.facepunch.com page. On here, we can link our Rust account or Steam account and Twitch. I'll simply scroll down to where it says login. First, click the sign in with Twitch button and then authorize it on the correct account. Note that you will need to be signed in and using this account while watching streams for it to work. Then scrolling down once again, you should have the ability to link your Steam account. I already have it linked, so we have this here. Log out, unlink, and check for missing drops. So, heading across to the inventory, let's assume that we've gone through all of these streamers and we've clicked Claim Now next to all of them. You should immediately get all of the items in your Steam inventory ready for you to use. If I have a look at my Rust inventory, you can see that these streamer drops from last week are not marketable and not tradable. So, they're purely just for your account and for you to use. Pretty cool. So, let's assume that you click Claim Now on all of these drops, but you're missing a few. What do you do? Well, head back to twitch.facepunch.com, sign in with Twitch until you see this page here. 
Then click check for missing drops and the system will go ahead and check your Twitch account to see if anything is missing. If anything is, it'll immediately be given to your Steam account. I'm pretty sure that there won't be any issues with this and when I did have one rare issue with this, simply clicking that button fixed my problem completely. Scrolling down on this page, you'll see a full list of all of the streamers here as well with live icons next to them. I simply just prefer the other method as I can check exactly who I've got and who I haven't. On this page here, if you're good with remembering pictures of items or just streamer names, you can do that here. Just looking for the live icon, opening them in a new tab, you'll be able to watch them and idle the hours necessary. So with that being said, how many hours do we need to invest into this for all of these item drops? Well, we have three, six, eight of these and they all need to be watched for two hours each meaning you'll be watching a full total of 16 hours of stream at least. So say you watch four hours a day, it'll take four days to complete out of the full seven days that you have between January 16th and January 24th. If you aim to finish two or three streamers a day, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one in the evening, you'll have them done in literally two and a half days. It's really easy to get all of these drops compared to the previous ones that required you to watch each streamer for four hours, which was incredibly long. In my opinion, this is much better, and I do hope they continue to bring these out for more and more streamers each week into the future. That being said, this video should apply to everyone in the future for as long as this game has drops on Twitch. I really doubt that they'll change their drop method too much, but they may change the requirements for getting the drops. If in the future you're watching this video and you've linked your account, make sure to check this page here, twitch.tv slash drops slash campaigns, and then check the how to earn drop section as they may add or remove things from here. Who knows? But anyways, that's about it for this video. Happy item farming. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.